Hey guys, so today is Star Wars Day, May the 4th, May the 4th be with you all, and Star Wars Day made me want to do a video right now, and I just want to talk about, you know, what is Star Wars has done recently, and how we as Star Wars fans are just going to be in for an awesome ride in the, in the next few years, so let's just think back a year, and a year ago right now, we had just got the Star Wars Celebration 2015 trailer with the Chewie We're Home line. That was awesome. There was so much hype for The Force Awakens. And in my opinion, that movie completely delivered on every cylinder. Sure, some things could have been better where some people could think that it's sort of a retelling of episode 4. I don't think it is, but that's not why I'm making this video. Anyways, we got The Force Awakens, right? That was a great movie. It was such a fun time leading up to The Force Awakens. Some people call it the journey to The Force Awakens like some books did. And that was such a fun time. You know, people were so excited for episode 7. And episode 7 really set off what is going to be an amazing time to be a Star Wars fan. And today we got the announcements that Star Wars Celebration 2017 is going to be in Orlando, Florida. And what's really cool about that is I'm actually going to be attending the University of Tampa next year. And Tampa is not that far from Orlando, if you didn't know. So I'll be able to go to my first Star Wars Celebration next year. And I'm, and I'm also going to be going with my friend Josh Pepper. And Josh lives in, I think, West Palm Beach, Florida, and he's going to be going to Celebration with me. And tickets go on sale, I believe, May 26th, no, May 25th for Star Wars Celebration 2017. So if you guys could go, that would be awesome. You know, we could do a meetup or whatever. But anyways, we also got the news that some Funko Pops are going to be coming out in July. We have a new Ray one, a new Kylo Ren one. You know, we got some Luke. And then we also have Mass Kanata. We also have... FN21999, a.k.a. Trader. So that's cool. But anyways, I just wanted to take you guys on kind of a little tour of everything I have at Star Wars because, you know, today, today's May the 4th. There isn't really a ton of news that has come out today besides Celebration and the Funko Pops. So I just kind of wanted to do a video about May the 4th and show you guys a little bit of the Star Wars stuff I have. So first things first, I have the post, the IMAX posters for Star Wars The Force Awakens. You know, I made sure I got all four of them. We got the Ray one here, uh, Poe Dameron on Takodana. Probably, probably, probably my favorite right here. We, you know, we got Finn and Kylo Ren battling in the Force, the Star Killer base. And then we have this Phasma one, which I don't really understand because she, I don't remember a shot in the movie where she was doing this. Maybe this is the village on Jakku, but the buildings look more um, completed and you know different than the huts we saw on Jakku. And even right there, we get a little taste of General Hux, I think. So that's kind of cool. And next we have my Star Wars Funko Pops. So we're going to start out right here. We got a good look at my good friend C-3PO, R2. And if you guys couldn't tell, these are all in um, very specific placing. So, so we got R2 right here, Luke, TIE Fighter, or not TIE Fighter, <laughs> X-Wing Luke, Vader, Rey, Finn, Phasma, and my two favorite right here, you know, the two buddies. Chewbacca and Han Solo and this Chewbacca is actually a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive and I believe and it is made of velvet or at least it feels that way So that's really cool. We got you know the couple Han and Leia They look they match that's cool. We got father and son right there You know the tragic end of Han Solo from the blade of his son. We got Kylo Ren and Vader the grandson grandfather relationship and I, I didn't really know what to do with these guys, so they were just kind of in random order. And then right up here, I have a Star Wars poster for The Force Awakens. Right here on my dresser, we have basically my Star Wars sh shrine. So I'm just going to go through this right here. So the first thing we have, some of my favorite, we have um, Disney. I forget what, what this guy's called. Um, he was made by Disney. I got him at the uh, Disney store. He is like a, the snow battle Kylo Ren. He has the uh, his back cut off by Rey. Part of his back, you know. And then we got the Ray with the, with the lightsaber. Definitely something I needed to get just because there isn't a lot of Ray merchandise. You even got BB-8 in the back. And then right here, I have a TIE Fighter Darth Vader. Some kind of cool. I got it on eBay once. And then this is the mask that I think Ezra Ezra has in um, Rebels. I'm not completely sure. I think I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Then here we have the Art of the Force Awakens, one of my favorite things I got for Christmas. It has a lot of the concept art for the movie, you know, it has characters, the first looks at the characters, you can see how they kind of change throughout the progression of the movie, or the progression of the making of the movie, so that was really cool. 
Then I got the Inquisitor right here. So if you don't know who the Inquisitor is, he is from Star Wars Rebels. And he's really cool. What happened was I was at Toys R Us one day and I saw this guy and I saw Darth Vader. Vader, Vader was uh, this size too, but he was $45. The, this Inquisitor was 15 so I just got him. All right, and then next, I got this from my mom for Christmas, actually. It's Yoda candy, but what's cool is if you bobble his head, he talks. No. Try not. Do. Or do not. There is no try. So, really cool little piece of um, Star Wars stuff. I'm going to move my Kylo Ren right here. We also have my Kylo Ren I got on um, Force Friday back on September 4th. One of the first, it's, it is the first piece of the Force Awakens merchandise I owned. That was cool. And then I got this on eBay a while back. It is um the Emperor versus, not the Emperor, sorry. It is Vader versus Luke with the Emperor in the throne room. So I really like this piece. I'm going to give you a better look at the Emperor right here. Um, if it'll focus. So we got the Emperor right there. His face is a little weird. You can see the white. He almost looks green in this picture. But then we got the backdrop of the battle on Endor. Battle of Endor, sorry. Um, my phone's going weird right now. And then, you know, it's got Luke and Vader. Then right here, I have a little TIE Fighter Lego thing. Then I got my, her gun is kind of weird right now. Oh my goodness. All right, I just moved Phasma because she was being a little weird. But um, right here, I got my Star Wars Black Series Phasma. And I also got Finn. I got Finn for Christmas, and I bought Phasma on Force Friday. Then right here is something really cool I own. It is the original VHS set of Star Wars. It's the original, not the um, whatever you call the new version. And it's, it's just cool because it has all the old scenes, you know, on Jabba's palace. It has that, the better version of that one song where in the um, special edition, Lucas put that weird 3D where the chick sticks her tongues out. That was weird. So that's cool. Then I got a little plush Yoda and Chewbacca. I have, I'm going to move Phasma. I have a Phasma bobblehead right here. Kind of cool. I have a Luke Black Series. Um, I think he's what? I think three and a quarter inch. But I kept him in the box um, because I just think he looks better in the box. He doesn't stand very well. And yeah, but I really. That's what just fell. But I like keeping my stuff outside of the box, if you guys couldn't tell. I just think toys are meant to, you know, kind of stand out and stuff. And then right here, I have the Force Awakens Visual Dictionary, something really cool. I got this for Christmas too. So, really cool stuff. It gives some insight to Kylo Ren. Uh, there's some bits about Lor Santeca, the old guy in the very first shot of The Force Awakens. And then second to last, I have this other Kylo Ren I got for Christmas from my dad, so shout out to my dad. But my favorite piece of Star Wars, you know, whatever it's called, mem uh, memorabilia, is my Star Wars, I think it's Ultimate FX, Anakin slash Luke Skywalker lightsaber. Now this thing I got for like $110 on Amazon. When it came out, and I think the price is about three hundred dollars right now. And the reason I got this is because this is this lightsaber is in every single trilogy. Anakin built it. Luke had it because Obi Wan gave it to him, and then Rey has it now. And I'm gonna give you a little demonstration of what it looks like when you turn it on. Got you know the original Star Wars posters, Star Wars Empire and Jedi. My favorite is definitely Empire because, you know, it's just so awesome. My favorite movie ever. I also got Star Wars Van shoes. Um, I wear these a lot. They're kind of weathered, but they're cool. I wore these at school because my school is a uniform, so this is the only piece of Star Wars I could really um, embrace and wear. Then last, this is one of my favorite things I have, too. It is a signed picture of Darth Vader by David Prowse, the guy who was in the Darth Vader suit in the movies. And right here, he signed it to me. I had to pay a little extra, but to Trey, you don't know the power of the dark side. Darth Vader, David Proud. So that is pretty much all of my Star Wars stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like Star Wars, check out my weekly show, Force Talk Pod, where me and my friend Josh, the guy who I said I'm going to celebration with, talk all things Star Wars, from Rebels to the movies to the news and everything in between. And I also do a superhero show called, I guess, Hero Talk Pod. And that just went up, that was just uploaded um, yesterday and pretty good show we have me josh and then two other guys chris and raymond on it um just talk talk superheroes and stuff so hope you hope you guys enjoyed this video and may the fourth be with you